white is the most wonderful color because within it you can see all the colors of the rainbow. The whiteness of white is never just white. It is almost always transformed by light and that which is changing, the sky, the clouds, the sun, and the moon. Richard Meyer, architect. Hello, and welcome to Los Angeles, my fair city. My name is James Edward Shuck, and I love it here. It's the middle of December, the temperature hovering around the low 60s, which means it's winter in California. So we all bundle up a little bit closer. And it's gonna stay this way for the rest of the winter while you're in the east freezing your asses off. But today, we have a special treat because today, today we're at the Getty Center, the crown jewel of Los Angeles, the golden tiara that sits high above the city. The J. Paul Getty Trust is the world's largest cultural and philanthropic organization dedicated solely to the visual arts. This place also houses the Getty Conservation Institute, which advances the practice of art and cultural heritage conservation worldwide. How about that? And then there's the Getty Research Institute, which conducts pioneering research in art history and the humanities. It's an incredible campus. Take a quick look around. I'm on the northwest side of the campus, and this is where all of the research work takes place. But this is just a small piece of what's up here. Come take a look. For all of the innovation and technology that Richard Meyer used to construct the Getty Center, it should be noted, however, that they use a, an old-fashioned technique to keep the place clean. Every year, they get a herd of goats, and they let them wild on the land. Now, this center can be pretty overwhelming and it's almost impossible to see the whole place in one day. So the first thing you're gonna do is head for the atrium. This is where it all starts. You can get all the information you need to know right here in this rotunda. The man himself. Take a look up there. And now here we are, out in the main plaza. Did I mention that they have art here? All of the exhibitions are generally held out here. Well, not out here, but in the buildings you see in front, directly in front of you on the south side of the promenade. And if you're thirsty or you need something to eat, there's plenty of places to get food, coffee, coffee. There's something very satisfying just to come here and visit the architecture. And then of course there's the view. At the south end of this promontory is the Cactus Garden and a full 180 degree panorama from the San Gabriel Mountains to the Pacific Ocean. man's never-ending obsession with breasts. Let's go down to the garden, take a closer look. Now, one of the places you have to come when you visit here are the gardens. If paradise had been sculpted, this is probably what it would have looked like located in a deep ravine that separates the two wings of the center. Robert Irwin's garden is a harmony of landscape architecture, art, and garden. It's an intricate maze filled with an extraordinary combination of floral and water. You might even call it an installation piece. Unfortunately, the only thing we can't do is record inside those galleries up behind me. That's where all the artwork is. All the exhibitions are held in those buildings on the south side. You'll just have to come and see for yourself. But the truth of the matter is, I love this place. It's got to be the single most spectacular place in all in the whole city. Uh, 
I never get tired of it. So we're heading back down to the tram now to take us down to the parking garage. There's plenty of parking here. And I just want to leave you with a few words about visiting here. If you're going to come in the summer, early morning, but especially early morning before it gets too hot. Now, if it's winter time, like it is now, come any time of the day or night. Well, that about wraps it up. My name is James Edward Shuck. Thanks for watching. See you again next time.